So how's everybody doing? I'm Tim Shelton, owner and creator of Pro Grip. And um, discussion has been up about disinfecting sprays and the effect that they have on clipper blades. Now I know a lot of you are wondering why I have this big magnet here. And um, the reason that I got this here is to show you um, the stainless steel. Um, stainless steel does not stick to a magnet. The only time that stainless steel sticks to a magnet is when it's mixed with different metals. Some mixed with carbon, um, and this makes the, the metal not as strong as what it would be if it would be stainless steel. Now I know a lot of you are asking, well, why don't we make our blades out of stainless steel? Well, if you made your clipper blades out of stainless steel, your clippers would go up from probably about $60 a pair to probably about two or $300. This material is very, very expensive. Um, Metal goes through a process called tempering. And what tempering is, is they heat metal up and then they, they stick it into some, some oil and they keep doing this over and over again and this hardens the metal. But what happens is when you use disinfectant type sprays that cool off your blades, when you heat them up and the molecules expand and then they retract and get smaller when they get cooler, it makes the metal weaker, it makes it denser, it makes it more brittle. So one thing that you don't want to do is heat something up very, very hot on a day-to-day -day basis and then cool it down. Now, we're going to get this out of the way. I've got some more stuff that I want to show you. Okay. All right, we're going to do a test. And what I want you to do is, I want you to get your oil and I want you to get a disinfectant spray. And what I want you to do is, I want you to put it on your fingers. I want you to rub it around. Right? Then I want you to take this spray and spray it and keep rubbing. And you keep rubbing it, that oil is going to be going off of your fingers because this spray cuts the oil off of your fingers. The next test that I want you to do is I want you to get a piece of paper. And this is more visual so you can visually see what's going on. What you do is you take some oil, put it on the paper. And then you take this disinfectant spray and you spray. You put a little bit more oil down. That was two drops, right? And you need a blow dryer. And what you do is you take the blow dryer and you heat it up. And as you can see, the disinfectant spray has evaporated off of this paper. Now imagine if this was on your clipper blades, you know, and the oil is still on there. And a lot of hairstylists have gotten rid of the oil and just used this. You're totally damaging your blades. Okay, a lot of stylists, they ask me like, well Tim, what's the right way to, 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 to use this disinfectant type spray? And what you want to do is, a lot of barbers, this is what they do. They take the spray and they cut and they do it like that. Okay, this is not clean anything. You, how do you know that your clipper blades are clean? You don't know because you haven't seen anything come out of them. What you want to do is you take the spray and you spray like that. And you shake that trash out of there. Now you're cleaning your blades. But what you want to do is you want to let this disinfectant spray burn off of your clipper blades. And it's going to evaporate probably within 30 seconds. And then you come back with your oil. Put two drops. One, two, three, four. That's it. That's the correct way how to use your disinfectant type spray. All right. So, if you don't clean your blades like this, this is what's going to happen. Because that, that little light spraying that you're doing, it's, it, it's allowing all of this hair to stay trapped up under your blades. And what's happening is when you use your blades and they heat up, the hair in the trash gets up under your blades and it dulls it out. Okay. And you can see this one is also chipped as well. Um, what you want to try to do is do not use disinfectant type sprays that cool your blades off. Do not use them when your blades are very, very hot. 
because this damages your blades it damages the metal metal is not meant to be heated up at high temperatures and cool down you're going to continue to destroy and damage your blades you're going to be cutting with your blades one day and they're going to cut fine and then you're going to use the disinfectant type spray and it's not going to cut and perform the way that it was cutting the day before and that's why you're shocking the metal it's called shocking metal you can define it look up the definition go to google don't take all everything that i said you